ज्ञानंजनशलाकय चक्षुन विदित जीन तस्म श्रीगुरव वंशाकलपतरुभ कृपा सिंधु पति पावनेभ्यो वैष्णवेभ्यो नमो नमो महाबदनाय कृष्ण प्रेम प्रदायते कृष्णाय कृष्ण चैतन्य नाम्ने गौरतिशे नम गुरव गौरचंद्राय राधिकाय तदाल कृष्णाय कृष्ण भक्ताय तद भक्ताय नमो First of all, my humble obeisances in the lotus feet of my Paramaradha Nitya Lila Pravishtam Vishnu Bhasi Smat Bhakti Pradhyan Kesha Vishnu and my Shiksha Guru O Nitya Lila Pravishtam Vishnu Bhasi Smat Bhakti Vedan Swami Maharaj In conclusion to our last class yesterday night the the conclusion is that separation only in the mood we can accept if he adds something helps to increase increase the enjoyment of meeting as one devotee told then how we can reconcile the words of bhakti vedan swami maharaj we are not philosopher or anything but i think no need of being philosopher for veganers he told that you must follow separation because from in the last time we have forgotten krishna and thus a sadhak bhakt should always repent free and feeling separation in bhajan and if he does not feel separation go weeping like chaitanya mahaprabhu usha like other devotee nartam thakur Shri Bhakti Bhuno Thakur. They used to be for Krishna. So for beginners, we are in the way of separation, and we must know that oh, we have forgotten Krishna for endless time. So our bhajan will be. or like this in separation but for the matured devotee oh they for them they may self think that i am feeling separation but they will not want that anyhow uh, shrimati radhika feel separation अटति यद भिकाननम त्रुटिजुगायते पश्यत कुटिलकुंतल श्रीमुखते जड उदीक्षता पक्ष गिविंग कॉस्ट टू ब्रह्मा यू डोंट नो क्रिएशन ओ यू मेन Ashmali, two eyes given, and after that you get what? Eyes. Eyes. Always blinking. Always blinking. Blinking. You don't know anything. If I was Brahma, or you should go away, and any new Brahma will come, 
and he they he will follow me then he will make all thousands and thousands of eyes through a whole body without lids <laughs> without lids and we will see when krishna is coming from grazing cows and when he uh, going coming and going gopis are telling that very eagerly for whole long day waiting waiting now he is coming and when he comes i and we she but two things ears come from ear drops tears 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 tear drops coming and they get so much obstruction in looking krishna seeing krishna and secondly oh we have one nice eyelids so at that time krishna is in front of us and if he shaken we cannot see krishna by tears or by eyelids it seems for us jugaitam oh thousand and billions of jug has been gone feeling so much separation and if he want that they should be separated always because it is her then what with the of the gopis in moment they will die so if you want to make them die and you are happy then you can say like that your separation mood is hard <laughs> so any man will not if i will ask the who has raised the question that do you like that for always radha and krishna should be separated and they with so feel separation he cannot see. and if he is saying then it means that he has no bhakti at all so in conclusion we added it huh oh kabhi karnapur you know the name of kabhi karnapur oh very high class of devotee he chose the chopped the shut shut the to of the of mahapur and he became oh highest class of kavi poet poet to writer to he has written bindavan champu anand bindavan champu very famous very famous like gopal champu of shivaji goswami but kavikant puri more senior than jiv goswami he wrote all these things up to ras leela and in that holy leela and other swimming singing 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 Sing and other but he never described that krishna went with her baladev prabhu to mathura and he sent to uddhav nagari to because he could not talk. tolerate the separation if mathura goes then his swamini ji radhika will don so he never in braj when krishna used to go for cow grazing at that time very hardly they used to feel separation and at that time one one group of gopis you to see gopi be venu be thus they used to save their lives so we want that we should be happy in the meeting of radha krishna and we should be sad in the separation of radha so bhakti vinod thakur tells o sata sata bar mari radha karo vira hata if separation comes and i will see that radhika is feeling separation i will die lax and lax time for radhika i can do anything sata sata bar mari i want to die oh hundred and hundred times so this is the essence of all work 
discussion yesterday. Now we should come on the point <coughs> Shraddha, Nishtha, Ruchi, Ashakti. I have heard that today in morning class, Sriman Bhakti Vedanta, Swar Maharaj discussed about Nishtha. And all were happy to hear. Very good explanation he did. So, in Thornishta in Srimad Bhagavat is written, Srimadhan <coughs> Swakatha Krishna Punya Shavana Kirtana Hirda Stho Japatrani Vidhunu Suhis Nasta Praesu Abhatresu Nityam Bhagavat Sivaya Bhagavat Uttam Slokir Bhakti Vaiti Vidyate Hirdeganti Sarva Sansaya Chiyante Chasya Karmani Tis In the second chapter of or Srimad Bhagavatam. Second Kanto. First Kanto, second chapter. So, you should explain you should come. Three. You can see from Bhagavatam. If you remember then. Timirandasya Gyanam Janashalakaya Chakshurun Militam Yena Tasmai Sri Gurave Nama Vancha Kalpaturu Pascha Kripa Sindhu Bhevaja Patitanam Pavane Bhyo Vaishnavi Bhyo Namo Nama Gurave Gaur Chandraya Radhikaya Itadalaya Krishnaya Krishna Bhaktaya Tadbhaktaya Namo Nama Oh, first of all, I want to tell two words. Oh. <coughs> if by chanting, remembering all kinds of unwanted things, unearth, aparat has gone. Even there are so many on us, and that are lay big shape, apartipati, kashaya, rasaswari. Laya, what is the meaning, meaning of lay? Lay means eh? shipness. If you are chanting, uh, remembering the Guru Mantra like this, you will forget what you are doing after some. And if your mind is empty, then you will sleep at once. No? But <coughs> if there is Harikatha going on, you can hear, but sometimes if you have unearthed, at that time too, will you, you will sleep. And when Kirtan? Oh, dancing? No sleep. But some report is maybe that oh, Kirtan is going on and all are dancing, but he is sitting. And it may be that he missed. But very rare. So this is first life. You can apply on your view. Whether you can realize you this, that if you are sitting and in the morning, after taking bath and putting tila, and you are remembering Guru Mantra. <coughs> oh, it may be that sometimes you will forget the what mantra and where you are doing. Some sleep nishmika. Otherwise you, your, uh, this, Brain is memory is not there, then it may be that. 
hours and hours you can and when you will woke up and said oh what i was doing oh who meant so don't do like this and then big chip when you are chanting your guru mantra or doing anything and oh then it may be that so many kinds of worldly things will come in your mind what you have done in past at that time oh seeing that looking that oh his mind is empty so i must go so they come and this time also <coughs> apatipatti you want to chant oh from today i want to chant from morning 3 to whole day and you began and next day you saw that headache is so much and you have fever and so many things no no even no one thing that i should do but you cannot these are also anarts kashay what you have done in past life seen or any bad activity that fruit will come you are bound to or test these fruits so you should tolerate don't be worry for that they will go very soon and the rasasva what you have done done good activity the fruit of that will come oh all will praise you oh very good class krishna das a very good singer <laughs> so all will be attracted or especially ladies they will very attracted and they will give so much money so much praise and other things very dangerous but at that time you may feel that oh i am very lucky that all are praising me and coming to me charm hmm? that began or oh, in the life of my bhakti shar maharaj god singh are you know hari katha very sweet and so many attracted to him <laughs> and he was attracted <laughs> but now he is very strong ah. he is helping me in so many ways so these past activities of previous births they may come don't you don't like but they will come and if you are engaged in that observe in that that part of your bhajan bit but if you are doing bhajan in the guidance of your guru and vaishnava very strong not looking towards all these things all they doing bhajan then oh nishtha comes nishtha after that and after that oh what ruchi will come so i told him to speak on this subject <clears throat> so in the second chapter of the first canto of the shrimad bhagavatam which our shila prabhupad has translated with the title divinity and divine service there are a group of shlokas there which shila gurudev has just referred to and our shila prabhupad also referred to these very same uh, group of shlokas when he first came to the western world we may remember in his prayer in boston harbor and he was telling that <clears throat> the whole population here is covered by so many modes of passion and ignorance oh how will it be possible for them to understand this great message of shrimad bhagavatam So then Shri Prabhupada he began to tell uh, these verses from Shrimad Bhagavatam 
and he told that actually you have told, O oh Krishna, in your Srimad Bhagavatam, that if anyone hears this topic uh, of the words of Srimad Bhagavatam, what powerful cleansing effect that this will have on their heart. <clears throat> so first of all, he quoted the verse, Shrinvatam Svakata Krishna, Punya Shravana Kirtana, Hridiyantaksto Hyabhadrani Vidhunoti Suhrit Satam. So here, in this shloka, it is telling, Vidhunoti. Vidhunoti means completely cleansing. Here it is telling that, uh, Shrinvatam Svakata Krishna Punya Shravana Kirtana Hridyantaksto Hyabhadrani. Now here the word Abhadra is used. Abhadra, this means inauspicious things within the heart. Things that are obstacles to our progress in pure bhakti. Trying to come onto this level of nishta, like Gurudev is telling, so many of the symptoms of anishtita bhakti, unsteady bhakti, where one cannot concentrate on his bhajana. There are so many kashais, so many different uh, things, anartas, unwanted things within the heart which are hampering our progress. So these anartas of our, are so many different types. This morning, Sripad Bhakti Sar Maharaj explained so much about anarta nivritti and nishta stage. So this shloka is actually telling that when someone begins to give oral reception, Srinvatam, Svakata Krishna, when they begin to hear the topics of Krishna Kata, as powerfully explained in the Srimad Bhagavatam, which is actually non-different than Krishna himself, then Krishna, who is uh, Suhrit Satam, Suhrit Satam means the well-wishing friend, and he is situated within the heart of the devotee, Hridiyantak Sto. Hmm? He is situated there within the heart, and he sees that the devotee is now hearing about him. Huh? So, what does he do? Vidhunoti Suhrit Satam. Krishna acts within his heart to cleanse all of these inauspicious things within his heart. And gradually, gradually, he becomes cleansed. Now the next verse is telling, huh? Tada rajas tamo bhava, which is, oh, nastak praishu abhadreshu nityam bhagavata sevaya bhagavati uttama shloke bhaktir bhavati naishtiki. So the word used here is naishtiki bhakti, which refers to the same uh, level of attainment of nishta, naishtiki bhakti. So it is telling here that nashta prayeshu abhadreshu, by this cleansing process, when the abhadras, when the inauspicious things within the heart are gradually becoming eliminated, and prayeshu, they're very much eliminated, not completely, but almost coming to that point where the majority of these inauspicious things within the heart are limited, eliminated, then nityam bhagavata sevaya, by the process of constantly hearing the Srimad Bhagavatam and serving Srimad Bhagavatam through oral reception and hearing from the person Bhagavatam. Because Bhagavat refers to two, the book Bhagavat and also the personality who is the pure Maha Bhagavat Vaishnava. One very important point is that if someone wants to hear the Srimad Bhagavatam, then they must hear it from the lips of someone who has realized the purport of Srimad Bhagavatam. And also, he must be Rasika and Bhavaka. In the beginning of Srimad Bhagavatam, it is telling, Nigamakalpataror Galitam Falam, Shukamukad Amrita Drava Samyutam, Pibata Bhagavatam Rasam Alayam, Muhuraho Rasika Bhuvi Bhavaka. So here, Rasik Vaishnavas have been referred to, and those who are Bhavak who are experiencing bhav within their hearts and tasting Krishna Bhakti Rasa Bhavita Mati. They are tasting the excellence of Krishna Bhakti Rasa. And when they hear the Srimad Bhagavatam, they are envisioning these pastimes within their hearts. And they are completely uh, absorbed in the ext ecstasy of tasting Bhakti Rasa. So if someone hears the Srimad Bhagavatam from the lips of such Mahabhagavat Vaishnava, who is relishing the taste of Srimad Bhagavatam, and by serving those Mahabhagavat Vaishnavas, then all these abhadras within the heart gradually will become eliminated from the heart. 
नित्यम भागवत सेवाया भागवती उत्तम श्लोके भक्तिर भवती नाइष्टिकी then bhakti will come, pure shuddha bhakti, uttam bhakti will come within his heart to the uttama shloka, Shri Bhagavan Sri Krishna, who is always glorified by most beautiful, exalted, rasik poetry of Srimad Bhagavatam. He will relish and taste this. And then, uh, at that time, he will become situated in performing ba uh, Bhagavad Bhakti Bhajan. So, at that time, tada rajas tamo bhava kama lobha dayas chaye. Cheta etayar anavidham stitam sattve prasidati. So now at that time, then the effect of the lower modes of material nature, which are hampering one from actually becoming absorbed, all of these problems of not being able to perform uh, nishtita bhajan, always being distracted, always falling asleep, not concentrating on one's mantras. These are because of the effect of the lower modes of passion and ignorance, rajas and tamas. So, the effect of those pas uh, passion and ignorant modes are that one uh, becomes absorbed in kama, lobha, adayas, chai. All these different enemies of becoming situated in pure bhakti, lust, anger, greed, envy, illusion, intoxication, kam, krodh, lobha, moha, mada, matsarya, like this. So, when these become cleansed from the heart, tada rajas tamo bhava kamalo bhada yashaya cheta etayar anavidham stitam sattve prasidati. Now one's consciousness becomes cleansed and he becomes situated in sattva gun. Stitam sattve. He becomes firmly situated in the mode of goodness. Now he is not any longer hampered by the lower modes of nature and now he can perform bhajan to Krishna. And then Gurudev told one more sloka, Vidyate hridaya grantish, chityante sarva shamshaya, kshiyante chasya karmani, drishta evat manishvare. So, these uh, lower modes of passion and ignorance are like knots entangling the heart. Vidyate hridaya grantis. Grantis means like knots binding the heart. Constantly keeping one absorbed in this mundane world of attachment and illusion. Hmm? So when these are pierced, Bidyate Hridayagrantis, Chityamte Sarva Shamshaya, and all of his Samshaya, Samshaya means all of his doubts, all of his illusions, they are completely uh, dispelled. Kshiyamte Chasya Karmani. This means that chain of fruitive action which Gurudev was telling, one must suffer because we have so many reactions coming from previous life sinful activities. So now that chain of sinful reactions becomes terminated. And drishta eva atmanishvare. Now he begins to see that Krishna is really within my heart. He is the supreme master. He is the supreme controller. And he begins to surrender to him fully uh, and perform pure sharanagati. So this is the gradual step-by-step -step progression that a, that a bhakta will undergo when he is under the guidance of a pure Vaishnava, hearing Harikata from the lips of that Vaishnava, these effects will take place. There is... Should I tell you? Okay. Thank you. Very good class. Very good class. But you should know, even Nishta has come. It may be Nishtha has come. But all Anartha has not gone. Prayesu, he explained. Almost. Huh? Almost. Almost, but something is there. And the pinch. So no Ruchi has come. He will feel, feel so much labor in chanting and remembering. Hard, 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 hard labor, hard, hard work. Uh, that chanting, remembering, or reading books, you know that only the medicine of heart, rogue and all others is his name, very false. But he tries, but he cannot do so much. With interest, Ruchi has not come. 
it will take so much labor. But when Ruchi will come, very easy. He will not feel any labor or any eh? effort. effort. Without effort. He is sleeping. But his tongue is saying, Hare Krishna, Hare Krishna, Krishna. He is going. Hmm? No other things are coming in his mind. Oh, Hare Krishna, Hare Krishna. If he is in your operation room, theater room even, Oh, Hare Krishna. <laughs> Knowingly, under. Oh, this is called Ruchi. Hmm? But in Nishtha, Buddhi Purvika, with intelligence, we think that, oh, this is the remedy only Krishna Bhakti. So we must do. Hmm? And Ruchi, naturally it comes. So I um, request Varajnath Prabhu to speak on Ruchi, the specialities of Ruchi. You can stand up and... Chakshurun Miritam Yena Tasmai Sri Gulivena Maha Vansha Kalpadarupya Stya Kripa Sindhu Bevaja Patitanam Pavanapyo Vaishnarepyo Namo Namaha Sri Gulivena have ordered me to speak on Ruchi. So whatever I have heard, I will try to speak on that. I am not elevated speaker like our sannyasis, but by Guru's mercy I may say something. <clears throat> the stage of Ruchi, as Sri Gurudev just mentioned, comes after Nishta. Uh, I wanted to mention one thing which is very important for us to also understand in the course of our practicing even though we have started in the beginning with Shraddha and even we come up to the stage of Anatanivriti, Bhajanakriya, even Nishta, even Ruchi, if we are not careful, our Shraddha may again go. Especially two things are very important in this regard. That is, association with those who are non-devotees, those who are materialistic, those who are mayavadi, impersonalist, who don't accept that God is a person. They think that God is impersonal. They think they themselves are God. Yeah. Very dangerous to associate with them. By that, our intelligence, our consciousness will become polluted and we will lose our faith. Yeah, in Sadhu Sangha, our faith in the process of sadhan and bhajan. Yeah. Another very important thing to realize, as Gurudev has mentioned this maybe two years ago in San Francisco, how the devotees, they are in a critical stage. Yeah. No Sadhu Sangha, or they have not so much interest, they think, oh, I have taken so much Sadhu Sangha, now I can manage on my own. Yeah. They will say, Srila Bhakti Vedanta Swami Maharaj, he did not associate with Gaudiya Math. he was householder. I can be householder. Yeah. And when I am older, I will really perform pure Bhakti. <laughs> yeah. But this is very uh, big mistake. Because if we do not associate with devotees, we have to associate with who? With non-devotees, especially with Sri Sangi. Yeah. Sri Sangi means the opposite sex. Yeah. For male it means female. For female it means male. Yeah. If we associate with the opposite sex, then our Shraddha will also go. Yeah. Even we have come to such a high stage. Yeah. We are bound to lose our Shraddha and again, yeah, we will have so many doubts and we will think that this is not for me, Bhakti, I should 
go away from the, the vortex. So these two things I wanted to mention. Then we come, as Gurudev ordered me, to Ruchi. When we attain the stage of Ruchi, so much taste is there in hearing Harikata, coming in front of the deities, worshipping, doing Kirtan, serving. There is two types of Ruchi described by our Acharyas. One is Vastu Vaishishti Anapaksini and one is Vastu Vaishishti Apaksini Anapaksini and Apaksini So the first Ruchi which will come is Vastu Vaishishti Apaksini This is when Takuji is very nicely decorated. We think, oh, how beautiful is Takuji. Yeah. How beautiful the dresses, the decorations. When anyone sings very beautiful kirtan, nice musical instruments, very beautiful voice, we become very inspired. Ah, oh, that was a good kirtan. Yeah. Samruchi is there. Anyone, anyone is uh, speaking on power? Very nicely speaker, yeah, we think, oh. Singing and dancing on so many ways. We think this is wonderful, this is fantastic, but this stage, yeah, is called the first stage of Ruchi. Yeah. If we continue being in Sadhu Sangha, being very steady, continue especially to chant our Hare Krishna, Maha Mantra, our Guru Mantra, everything, Never give up this process. Always continue to chant in good association, being steady. Then we may come to the next stage of Ruchi. That is Vastu Vaishishti Anapakshini. That is, even if Takuji is not so nicely dressed, still so much taste we have to right. take darshan. Any example? Any example is there. Bansi Bansi Das Babaji. Bansi Das Babaji, and particularly, Srila Gurudev has mentioned one example. Of course, we cannot say that these devotees are in the stage of Ruchi, they are Mahabhagavat. But they show us that so much taste is there, even if Takuji is not nicely dressed, or they don't see that in one Example, we can cite Sri Chaitanya Mahaprabhu himself. Yeah. When we see Jagannath Dev, Baladev and Subhadra, we think these forms are not so beautiful. Yeah. We think they have no arms, no legs, big eyes. Yeah. <laughs> it is very hard to discover the beauty there. But Sri Chaitanya Mahaprabhu, yeah. what did he experience when he took darshan of Dev, he saw Prachandranandana Krishna, Shama Sundara. Not Jagannath Balaram Subhadra. Not Jagannath Balaram Subhadra. Yeah. <coughs> he did not see the external yeah, vision. He always saw this is my Pranath, my most beloved. Yeah. When he heard Git Govinda sung by any lady devotee, Sri Gurudev mentioned it may have been a high class devotee. When he heard Git Govinda singing very beautifully, he ran after it yeah, to catch that lady. He was so much attached and attracted by this beautiful voice and beautiful melody and song of Git Govinda. So these are some examples of Ruchi, which is. Yeah, in the stage of anapekshini, where it may seem that takuji or anything is not, or kirtan is not so beautiful like one example in our daily life. Yeah, we can think some devotees, they don't have very good voice. They also cannot express themselves very well. You may all have experienced yeah, to hear class from some devotees whose English is not so good 
it may be even a little broken English, but they are so much enthusiastic in presenting and so much feeling the urge to convince and give the message to the public that everyone becomes attracted. So this is example of Ruchi in the stage which is not necessarily you know, symptomized by any beautiful decoration or any beautiful accompaniment of musical instruments. Then after Ruchi, if I watch Very good. Oh, Bansi Das Babaji Maharaj. Or oh, disciple of Sila Gaur Kishore Das Babaji Maharaj. He had Gaur Nitai, a very small, big grass. And he was used to worship. <coughs> Sometimes Gaur Nityananda. Oh quite naked, that big dance. No harm. On Ekatsi day, he cannot fast. He did not fast. And when there Ekatsi, no Ekatsi for seven days, continuously he used to to observe Ekatsi. So he was very wonderful. <laughs> One day he went to oh, to pick some flowers. Oh, and there was a small tree. He climbed on the tree, though he was old. But he climbed on the tree, and a boy came. Why you are climbing our tree? Our This is my tree, and why you entertain? You are speaking. And then he also began some angry, both the Manshi Das Babaji, and both began to quarrel, and that boy pushed him, and he fell down. And he had received some injury. injury. Then he became so angry and came to Gaurdita, blaming Nita. <laughs> Gaur, Gaur. Oh, you are very weak. I, from today, I will not give a, offer you anything. <laughs> but Nitai is very, very humble. <laughs> and for Nimai, Gaur he used to quarrel with him. So, how it is? He told to Gaur, why you sent me? to pick flowers and to climb on the tree and why you brought that boy to quarrel with me and he pushed down. So you are the main reason, cause of my injuries. Oh, today I will not cook for you. No worship at all. No. <laughs> Here, Bastu, Vaisishta, Anapakha. Whether Thakur is naked or what? No ornament, nothing. But his Yamuchi is always like that. He never thought that Vigraha and Gaur Nityananda are different. This. Oh, you can explain, Shyamarani, about Akshati. Omagyanam Timirandasya Gyanam Jana Salakaya Chaksuram Militam Yena Tasmaya Sri Guravinam Srila Gurudev has ordered me to speak about the stage of bhakti called Asapti. In Srila Viswanath, Srila Bhakti Vinod Thakur's book, Sri Bhajana Rahasya, he explains that each stage of bhakti corresponds to a particular verse in Sri Sikshastakam by Chaitanya Mahaprabhu. 
the stage that was just spoken about, Ruchi, has within it the verse or the realization of the verse Nadanam Najanamana Sundarin Kavitam of Jagadishi Kamayi, where the material desires are becoming almost nil in the stage of Ruchi. A semblance, Gurudev said, a shadow of that same freedom from desire other than to please Krishna and become his Ahoytaki Bhakta that's in the pure stage of Anyavi Lasitasunyam begins as a shadow in Ruchi. Now coming to Ashakti, the verse that is realized in that stage is the next verse of Sri Sikshastakam. Ainanda Tanajakin Karam Patitam Mam Bisame Bhavam Budo. Chaitanya Mahaprabhu is praying, O son of Nanda, I am your eternal servitor, but although I am so, somehow or other I have fallen to this ocean of birth and death. Please pick me up from this ocean of death and place me as an atom of your lotus feet. So, so at this stage, some beginning of realization of dasyabhav, or servitorship to Krishna, or more specifically, in our line from Srila Rupa Goswami, service to the lotus feet of Radha and Krishna with a leaning towards Srimati Radhika begins to be realized. Srila Visvanath Chakrabari Thakur explains in his Sri Madhurya Kadambani that before the stage of Ashakti, one does not realize where his mind has gone but it goes and then he has to bring it up, bring it back. But in the stage of Ashakti, one does not realize how he becomes absorbed in Radha and Krishna. And it's very infrequent that he will forget them. So in Sri Bhajana Rahasya, Srila Bhaktivinoda Thakur and Srila Gurudev in his commentary explains many, many beautiful prayers to Srimati Radhika at that stage of Ashakti, praying for that Dasya Bhav. Like Ha Devi Ka Kupada Gura Gura Yajavacha Yacheni Pachyapu Vidandavada Udvadarti Asya Prashadam Abhudasya Jana Shikritva Gandharvike Nijagane Gananam Videhi O Radhika, O Devi, I am very worthless and foolish, but even though I am so, and even though I don't deserve any mercy from you, still I'm begging you that with a, not ordinary begging, but I'm begging with throat choked up and stuttering, inability to speak, and rolling down on the ground, I'm begging you to please give me your prashadam. Please give your mercy to this worthless person and make me in, at the bottom of the list of your dasis. So this is the Gaudiya Vaishnav under the line of Srila Rupa Goswami. That version of Sri Chaitanya Mahaprabhu's prayer that oath because he is we don't exactly fully want to follow Sri Chaitanya Mahaprabhu, Srila Gurudev explained, because he is Srimati Radhika herself. So in that mood he's praying, O son of Nanda, but we follow Chaitanya Mahaprabhu's followers like Srila Rupa Goswami and Srila Raghunath Das Goswami. So we pray in that way. There are so many very beautiful uh, prayers for the um, service of Srimati Radhika. And Srila Gurudev explains from Srila Raghunath Das Goswami's Stavavali, Srila Rupa Goswami's Stavamala, that when will I participate in joyfulness seeing, just as Srila Gurudev was explaining earlier, 
The devotees in the line of Sri Rupa Goswami never liked to see the separation of Srimati Radhika for Krishna, but they always loved to see the separation of Krishna for Srimati Radhika. And in their perfectional stage, they will lie to Krishna and say Radhika went over there when she went over there just to give Krishna more anxiety of separation. Similarly, when Radharani is defeated by Krishna in any game, they feel that my life is useless, it's devastated, there's no use to live. And when Radhika defeats Krishna, then they think my life is successful. So our acharyas teach us to pray, when will I give up the winning and losing of this world? So Ashakti, at, at that stage, there begins to be a reflection of the Lord in the heart. So the Lord's name, fame, form, qualities and pastimes begin to reflect in the heart. And the devotee begins to feel a semblance of emotion. When that ashakti is complete, matured, then one comes to the stage of bhava bhakti. But this is the stage beginning the semblance of sporti or manifestation in the heart and that becomes an actual revelation of seeing the Lord's pastimes in the stage of Baba Bhakti. Can you say something about Asakti? Huh? If you can, you can tell something. What you are telling? <laughs> oh, better you should distort. <laughs> and if you don't, uh, you cannot then ask the help from your friend. Uh, uh, Krishna Bhajan. <laughs> Asakti. This is this stage wherein one realizes that it, for real, that he is the eternal servant of Krishna. Ayinanda Tanuja Kingaram Patita Mam Vishame Babambuddha. What you is saying here, O oh my Lord, I am your eternal servitor, O son of Nanda Maharaj, not just any form of the Lord, but this form of the Lord, the son of Maharaj Nanda. I am your eternal servitor. We say it very easily, oh, I'm Krishna Das, I'm this Das, I'm that Das, like we know we're the servant of Krishna. But in this verse, uh, Lord Chaitanya is actually waking up, uh, describing the position of the Sadak who's now woken up to the fact that he is the eternal servant of Krishna. And he's, he's saying, Somehow or other, I've fallen into this ocean of birth and death, Bhavam Budir. How is this possible? I have nothing to do with this material world. I'm not part of this material world. I'm eternal. I have nothing to do with birth and death and old age and disease. How is it possible that I ended up in this horrible place? Huh? It's just like if you're having a terrible dream at night and you can't seem to get out of it. And then all of a sudden, you know, someone shakes and wakes you and you're woken up and you realize, oh, I couldn't get out of that dream by myself, it was a horrible dream, but now you realize it had nothing to do with me. It's completely past, it's disappeared, it has no reality whatsoever. This is a sakti when one comes to a complete, as uh, Srimati Shamarani Didi said, the forgetfulness of Radha Krishna is momentary, if at all, at this stage, a sakti. Intention, uh, mamata also comes at this stage. Ruchi, there was taste. Uh, for these uh, features of bhajan and uh, the process of bhajan itself was the um, one's attraction for Krishna consciousness but in asakti now Krishna himself becomes the object of one's bhajan and one's attraction uh, he now he's uh, getting an actual glimpse into his actual uh, swarup city uh, his perfected spiritual nature there's a some a reflection of this 
coming now. Uh, once I heard Srila Gurudev explain, just like in a bookshelf a gl with a glass case, huh? you can see the book, but you can't take it out yet and read it and go through the contents. So there's some a dawning, dawning of our spiritual identity, our, our relationship, our service with the Lord, but things aren't completely clear and we're not yet fully participating in those things yet. That will come in the later stage of Bhav. But this Sasakti is a very, very high stage Thank of devotional you. service. Thank you so much. But something that, that I want, and that he should make any effort to explain. <laughs> Not on rail. Om Ajnana Timirandhasa Gyananjana Salakaya Chaksurun Militangena Tasmai Sri Gurave Namaha So, Srila Gurudev ordered me to describe about Asakti. Asakti means attachment. As before you have heard from Gurudev, that Nistha is Buddhi Purivika, means you are doing by your own intelligence. After the Vruchi, Sabhaviki means naturally. After that attachment, without doing, you could not survive your life. You are bound to do. Just like Gurudev has given example so many times, like Billa Mangal. So before describing this, I want to tell something. The Asakti is two types, Bhajan Visayak and Bhajaniya Visayak. One for your Bhajan, another for, for whom you are doing Bhajan means Bhajaniya or Orsable Diti. I shall explain these two points later on. So, Srila Gurudev gave example about Villa Mangal. Villa Mangal has some attachment for the prostitute Chintamani. One day, due to this nature of this material world, his father passed away. During Sadha ceremony, so many Brahman has come. He will bound to feed them, but he has so much attachment for that Chintamani. He took so many paraphernalia, which cooked for the all Brahmins and relatives, and went to walk out from his house. Not in general stage, heavy shower, shower of rain, thunderbolt, and the river was overflooded. When he came, he thought, oh, how I can go there? Then he saw one log of wood is floating on the water. He take a cross, and he arrived the other side, the house of that prostitute Chintamani. Still heavy shower of rain. He could not enter, he knocked the door. But it's so hard, because too much sound is coming from rain. No one came to enter the door. Then he circumvented the house. Then he saw, oh, Chintamani hang one rope for me. Better, I can climb through the road, rope and can go inside. So he climbed, catching the rope and went inside. When he went inside, it was too cold. He could not climb down properly. He fell up from that top part. And very big sound came. Then Chintamuni sent her assistant, her maid servant, oh, go, where the sound is coming? She came, for oh, that Brahmin, Billa Mangal has come. Billa Mangal come? In this situation, today's father Sraddha ceremony, she came, both of them came and took him inside, changed his cloth, make some fire and make him warm. After that, Chintamani asked, how you came in here? Oh, I saw one, you keep on hanging the rope for me, so I take the help of, took the help of that rope and came inside. Okay, I never hang any rope, please let us come. Then they took lantern and came at the time, rain stopped. So oh, there's a very big poisonous snake. Oh. You could not understand, you have no difference between this poisonous snake and a rope. How come you are? What kind of person you are? 
But how you take across the river? Oh, one very big log was floating on the water. I took it and take across. And it is in this side. Okay, let us go. When Bintamani, Billamangal came, they saw this is not at all a log. It was a dead body. Foul smell is coming from the dead body. The foul smell not pinching his heart. Not any bad foul smell not coming through his nostril. Why? Because he has so much attachment for Chintamani. Then Chintamani told, if you have so much attachment for my body, flesh and blood, if you have such attachment for Krishna, then your life will be successful. So this is the example of attachment. Another example Gurudev used to give, early in the 80s Gurudev used to... And what became of Billu Mangal? After that Billu Mangal gave up the flesh and he went for Vrindavan. He attached in Shat... Uh, uh, bhajani, bhajan, and after that in bhajan. After he went Vrindavan, he attached with bhajan. After that, at last, he attached. Attachment came for bhajani, Abhisha means Krishna. Guru used to give one example. In early of 80s, he used to teach us. Only few Brahmacharis were there, like myself, Subhanand Tirtha Maharaj, Premananda Prabhu, Ban Maharaj, Krishna Das, and others, only few Brahmacharis are there. They used to teach us Tata Sandarbha, Bhakti Sandarbha and Priti Sandarbha. So Gurudev explained once, Ja Priti Abhiveki Nam Vishay Sona Paini Tamanu Sarpati Me Vishay Napa Sarpati Just like a material person, he is working hard in Calcutta. 